Okay, let's get started because clearly one bun wasn't enough for your girl. Y'all I've been rocking that bun that you guys seen in my last video for like two weeks straight and I've been loving it. Like not having to do your hair every morning is like one of the best feelings ever. So <laughs> let's go ahead and get started with this tutorial. Okay, so for this one, we're gonna be doing my hair in two buns. I'm not sure yet if it's going to be high buns or low. I'm gonna try high first, but if it doesn't work out, then we'll definitely go over and switch. So I'm gonna be doing the same process as when I did the first bun, but everything is gonna be doubled. So I have two buns and I tried to make them exactly the same size even though they're two different socks. This is a knee high stocking and this is a regular sock, but I'm pretty sure they're the same size. Like they look the same. Four hair ties, two for each bun. I still have my two hair accessories. Again, those are optional. I got these ones from Charming Charlie, I believe. Um, I'm still using my coconut, Manoy, coconut and but you don't have to use this. You can use any kind of spray. And then of course you need your tools like your hair brushes, your combs, your baby hairs, brush, um, your gel, and a hair tie, a hair scarf. Um, I did not rehearse this, so I'm gonna be doing it as I go. Starting off with my wide tooth comb, just combing up my ex. Look how big my hair is, you guys. Like, it has grown. I like wearing my hair in buns because it, la it, it like naturally stretches out your hair. All right, so first thing is first. I did feel like if I parted it in a zigzag, it'll make the look a little bit cuter. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. I like my zigzag kind of big. All right, so I'm gonna tie some of my hair down because it's getting hard to see because you know your girl getting a lot of hair and everything, so. gonna move this out of the way I cannot do the back so I'm gonna have my sister part the back rest of my hair for me because I cannot see at all okay so I got my sister to part the back of the hair so I'm gonna make sure it was straight, so hopefully it is nice and straight. Anyways, let's go ahead and get started. So I have this side still out. I'm just gonna go ahead and comb it through, get all the knots entangled out. This side definitely feels thicker than the other side, but I think that's just how my hair grows because I remember my hair being like that even when I had a relaxer. So I think this right side of my head is just naturally Thicker? Am I the only one like that? Like, comment down below if you can relate. So again, I'm gonna lightly spray.
but delayed on me. Alright, of course I'm going to go ahead and lay my baby hairs and then I will go ahead and show you guys the finished product. All right, so we got the edges laid. I'm gonna go ahead and tie it down. So my face is all done and beat up and all that. Let's just go ahead and take down this hair tie to see the finished product of the hair. It's been tied down for like at least an hour because I was doing, I was recording another video meantime so two birds one stone oh, that feels so good. yay uh, <laughs> that thing is slick down yo loving this very fit you did it so yeah this is the finished hair product with super slick back So that's the end of this hair tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. I hope you're gonna try it out for your girl. If you do, make sure you tag me at Very Fresh Face on Instagram. If not, that's okay too, but yeah. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in the next hair tutorial. Bye.